Sending video audits to your prospective clients is a great way to build engagement and to get them to say yes to taking a call with you, okay? But there's a load of different advice online about what you should actually include in those types of video audits. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is show you specifically when it comes to e-com email marketing, what you need to be recording and what you need to be saying and demonstrating in your video audits in order to entice brand owners to actually book a call with you so that you can get into a sales environment and hopefully turn them into a client. So without giving you just the theory and you know a bullet point or a script of what you should say, I've recorded hundreds of these uh, Loom videos over the last few years. And what I'm gonna do in this video is actually cut back to, uh, I think it's about a year or so ago, um, to a, a Loom that I sent a um, brand that had never heard of me. We, um, this was before I made content or did any sort of ads, don't even do ads now <laughs> to get clients. Um, but this was all through cold outreach. And what I'm gonna do is cut this, this clip here, this intro clip, and I'm just gonna show you the whole video recording so that you can copy it, okay? And if you copy the process and the script and step by step what I'm showing you, um, you know, actually from doing it in, in practicality on this video, then you're going to be able to use it for closing your own clients. Okay. So like I say, the video I'm about to cut to now is not just a theory based video of how to record a, a screen share audit and how to send it to a client. It's an actual recording of one that I sent to a brand that had never heard of me. I reached out to them through cold email. I then converted them into a client and actually they're one of our case studies today. Okay. So this is going to show you the whole spectrum um, from the start. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to cut this clip here and jump straight into that screen share. Hey Mark, it's Otto here. Uh, Mark, thanks for getting back to me uh, on email. I thought I'd just send you this video over now so you've uh, got it as promised. Um, but yeah, the, the reason for reaching out, Mark, was that my team and I, uh, we've been going about five and a half years now. There's, there's five of us. Um, and we've been doing a bit of desktop research on, on what you guys are doing. Um, you'll see that I'm on the site here at the moment. And I know that um, Initially, you guys are using OmniSend to do all of your sort of automated email marketing and your flows, um, and that you're also backed up by uh, Shopify as your e-com provider. Uh, we're actually a Shopify partner, um, our business. So um, the, the, the reason that we first got in touch was that we thought the, the fact that you are uh, selling online in some capability uh, means that what we do and our solution could be relevant. We never can say with 100% certainty until we actually uh, get to speak with you and ask you a couple of good questions but just to give you a very brief uh, breakdown we we're not a marketing agency we don't do Facebook ads we, we not uh, uh, don't do social media or anything like that uh, what we actually do is um, we deploy uh, an email and SMS automation system and we deliver it overnight for e-commerce brands so we work across uh, Shopify WooCommerce BigCommerce Magento the top uh, three to four e-commerce platforms that exist basically what we do is everything that a marketing agency would promise to deliver for you and actually fail to do over about seven months, we do overnight. So we've got a large body of infrastructure, all of our uh, automations and flows. We've already got about 60% of the way there built already. Uh, and what we do through our sort of proprietary customization process is we, we make sure that these are bespoke and tailored for each of the brands that we work with. Um, so instead of working with a, an agency and paying a monthly retainer and being locked into big contracts and all sorts of things like that. Um, nasty things that we, we absolutely do not do. Uh, we actually use a team, put our heads together and we build out all the infrastructure you'll ever need uh, to future-proof the business. Um, and we do it for a, a one-off fee up front and you get it overnight. So it's pretty much what we do. We've got a money-back guarantee. We've got loads of clients that we've worked with before, success stories here. Um, and typically we're looking at uh, uh, clients that we can add sort of 50 to 200k a month extra in uh, additional monthly current revenue. Now I know you guys are slightly different because you off obviously offer the bespoke cake aspect of what you're doing um, but it might be worth us nonetheless having a quick call just to see if we can uh, indeed help you out as we think we can. So let me know if there's a time that suits you. Uh, what are we? Tuesday. Um, so I think tomorrow I've got some availability in the afternoon so let me know if that suits you and hopefully we'll catch up then. Okay, mate, hope you're having a good uh, day and uh, we'll speak soon. Cheers, bye. So there you have it, guys. Okay, it's not rocket science, but there is a set process that you should follow. Now, what you would have learned from the video audit that I just showed you was, I guess, particular notice to the kind of conversational element of it. All right, and what you've got to remember is that your goal as the agency owner, yes, it's to get a new client, close them, collect cash, and you know move on to the next client. You just want more and more clients, more and more money. 
But what you don't want to do in these video audits is come across as desperate. Okay, so even if you haven't got a client yet, um, even if you don't have proof of concept, um, you know, or maybe you don't even have service market fit, you have to record the video and practice recording it in a way where you have some sort of degree of nonchalance. Okay. And this is what it comes down to in business and negotiations. And, and really the fact is that the person who wins any negotiation is the person who cares the least. Okay, so you might care and you should care about what you do and the, you know, the quality of the service that you deliver, but you need to go into these conversations with you know, a stoic sense of, of caring. Okay, so you're going in there, you've got something to add. Um, you know, and like you saw from the, the video there, you know, the reason we're sending these audits out is because we're saying to the brands, look, from our desktop research, you know, from um, everything I've done, you know, in my, in my office, um, I get a good sense that we can help you. But actually, it would be immoral and unethical of me to try and package something together for you or to give you pricing or to try and even sell you something when I actually don't know for 100% certainty that we can help you. Okay, so I think we can, but what I actually need is, is about two to three, four minutes of your time. I need to ask you a couple of questions that I just can't ask over email, um, and it would be great to, to have that conversation sooner rather than later. Okay, now another just quick tip bit here is once they've viewed the Loom, and you'll get a notification in your Loom account that they've done that, um, speed to lead, okay? So contact them, let them know that you, um, you, you notice that they watch the video, send them a text, give them a cold call, send them an email and say, look, I've got, actually I've just had a cancellation if you have, or whatever it might be, you know, I've got availability in 10 minutes. Um, fancy just having that three to four minute call um, there and then, you know, um, uh, uh, sooner rather than later, okay? So there we go, guys. Go back through this video, um, play it, stop it, take notes uh, about what I'm actually doing in practice. Again, this isn't a theory-based video. This is, and again, nobody else is sh sharing this level of uh, detail and, and source online. So copy the video, clone it, use all of the strategies, um, you know, the, the, the kind of um, non-verbal cues, um, the human psychology that I'm leveraging in this video. Adopt the similar style to me, and I promise you, if you send it out to clients, um, you know, send it out to pers prospective companies and brands, you'll be turning them into a client, and you'll be turning them into your next case study, like I was able to with this exact brand in this video too. All right. So if you've got any other questions, guys, drop a comment below. Again, if you haven't subscribed already, please, wherever the button is, subscribe to the channel. Um, it's going to really help things grow. It will mean the world to me too. We're we're building our our uh, community here. So um, yeah. You're, you're greatly appreciated for taking the time to uh, watch this video and give me your attention. Um, and if I can help you in any way, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. All right, until next time, I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.